Hi, hello friends. My name is Miss Caroline and I am the Children's Librarian at the Coolidge Corner Library. And I am so happy that you were able to join me today for another Craft Along Junior video. This month, we're going to be making sun catchers. So let's get started. Is this your first public library of Brookline to go program? Here's how it works. Each month, the library is offering new take-home program kits, complete with everything you need to follow along and video or written instructions created by one of your local librarians. The best part? Absolutely no due dates. You can keep everything included in your kit. Visit brklib.com slash to go for a full list of our current kit offerings and follow the link there or visit brklib.com slash eventbrite to reserve yours for free pickup at any library location. Now let's get crafting. If you were able to pick up a kit from the library, you will have all of the materials that you need in a bag like this. If you were not able to get a kit, please do not worry. You can always watch along and craft with us using materials that you have at home. All right, so let's open it up. Inside our kit, we have a contents card. We have two sheets of contact paper. We have a sheet of black construction paper. And let's take a look. We also have some pieces of multicolor cellophane. All right, excellent. In addition to what is included in your kit, you are going to need some scissors and you may need a responsible adult to help you use these. So make sure you have a grown up with you when you're using these scissors, a pencil or a pen. And I also recommend that you have some tape. This can be invisible tape or washi tape or masking tape, anything that you can use to stick down the contact paper while you are sticking your cellophane pieces onto it. All right, so let's take a look and see how to make some sun catchers. All right, friends, so here's my workspace. The first thing I'm going to do is I am going to trace the shape of my sun catcher onto our black construction paper so that we can use that as a frame for our sun catcher. For myself, I am going to try to make a flower. I think that would be a fun thing to have um, coming through the window. Um, on a sunny but still cold spring day. So I am going to fold it in half like this and trace a flower shape around the construction paper, just like this. All right, fantastic. Then I'm going to cut out this is black construction paper, so the lines won't be very easy to see, which is okay. All you want is to be able to follow the indentation that you made when you were tracing your shape onto the black construction paper. So it doesn't need to be a very bright line that shows up a lot. It just needs to be something that you or your responsible adult can follow when you are trying to cut out your shape using your scissors. All right. Okay, and since I folded my piece of black construction paper in half, you can see when I unfold it, I have a nice flower shape. Wonderful, and I actually think I'm going to do a little bit of 
I don't like how those petals turned out, so I'm just going to. That's a little bit more like a flower shape. Okay, so now you have the outside of your frame cut out. What you want to do is fold it in half again along the crease you already made and cut again so that you're creating a thin border. So you're going to trace a smaller shape inside the shape that you already made that follows the outline of your original design. So why don't we take a look at this? I'm going to cut again. Cutting out the shape that I drew onto the black construction paper. Again, the shape doesn't, the lines that I traced don't need to stand out. I just need to be able to follow the indent when it comes time to cut out around the frame with my scissors. All right, so you see this is the shape that I've cut out. And then when I open it up, it makes this shape. So that is what my sun patcher is going to look like. Wonderful. Now we're going to set this aside and we're going to put down our contact paper. What you want to do is take only one of the two pieces of contact paper that you received in your kit. Looking at the contact paper, you see there's two different sides. There's the sticky side, which has a piece of paper on it to protect the stickiness, and a clear side. What you want to do is put the clear side down on your work surface so that the side with all of the printing on it is facing up. Then you're going to get your tape. And again, this can be washi tape or it can be invisible tape or masking tape, anything that you can use to stick the contact paper down on your work surface. So you see, I've peeled a small corner of my contact paper down. I'm going to get my invisible tape and stick it down on my work surface to hold that corner. Then I'm going to peel a little bit more of the backing off. I'm going to get another piece of tape and I'm going to stick it down on the second corner of my work surface. Then I'm going to peel another corner and I'm going to stick it down on the third corner of my work surface. Peel the backing all the way off and then I can stick my final piece of tape down on my work surface. Now you'll notice that this is very very sticky so do not put your fingers here because they will stick to it and you do not want that to happen. All right, now you take your outline here and put it down on your sticky surface and just trace it gently with your fingers so that it all sticks down. Hooray, so there is the shape of my flower. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your colored pieces of contact paper, open it up, and then just put them one by one down on the contact paper inside the outline that you cut out and stuck down on there. If your pieces of colored paper overlap, that is actually a very good thing because you'll notice when you're all done that the sun will come through and shine through the contact paper in all of the different color combinations that you have made when you lie the pieces of colored cellophane down on top of each other and layer, layer those colors. So if you do overlap, that is a very good thing. You may prefer not to overlap, in which case you just want to be very, very careful um, that you, your piece comes out to the way that you want it to. 
the colored pieces of cellophane in my kit were quite large. So also, if you would like, you or your responsible adult can take your pair of scissors and cut the pieces of cellophane to be smaller. If you would rather have your squares of color be a little bit more detailed. I want a little bit more red here and a little bit more blue there and a little bit of blue here. So I am pretty happy with the shapes that I have and the colors as I have arranged them. So what you want to do is you get your second piece of contact paper. And this might be a good thing to have a second person help you with, as the contact paper can be quite curly. So we're going to carefully peel the sticky side away. And a second pair of hands is helpful because it will prevent um, the contact paper from sticking to itself. Once you have your contact paper, you're going to hold it with the sticky side down and the slick side up and carefully lower it on top of the piece that you have worked so hard on. And then you're going to smooth out all of the bubbles on your piece so that all of the pieces of the contact paper are sticking to what is below it on your workspace. Fantastic. So that seems to be working pretty well for me. Here we go. All right. So now we can peel up our contact paper from our work surface. We taped it down in the beginning, if you remember, very lightly with um, some tape. So we are able now to lift it up and we have our piece. For our final step, you're going to get your scissors once again and you or your responsible adult can cut the extra contact paper from around your shape. And there we are, our beautiful sun catcher. I've made a flower, but you are welcome to make any other shape you would like. All right, thank you so much, friends. I had so much fun with you today, and I hope you will join me again next month for another fun craft along session. Goodbye. Thank you all so much for crafting with us today. We would love to see what you made with your kit, so please feel free to share your project with us on social media using the hashtag MakeYourOwnStory. The Craft Along program is generously sponsored by the Library Trustees and the Friends of the Brookline Public Library. From all of us here at the Library, we miss you and wish you happy making!